If this doesn't get you fired up, if this doesn't make you smile as a Bears fan, you don't have a pulse. I don't know what will get you fired up. Welcome into Bears Now by Chat Sports. I'm Harrison Graham. Round one of the NFL draft is in the books. Caleb Williams, Roma Dunze, your newest members of the Chicago Bears. Yes, Caleb is not wearing 13. He's wearing 18. Rome's going to wear 15, but they said it was just too sick to pass up on. So we're going to hand out some draft grades for both picks, just the night as a whole, so stay tuned for that. But hey, we're not stopping here. We're going to be live tomorrow for day two of the 2024 NFL Draft. The Bears have picked number 75. Could they trade up? Will they trade down? Will they stay at 75? Uh, we're going to cover it all. We'll be live for both rounds tomorrow, rounds two and round three. We'll see if they get into the second round or not. We'll see what Ryan Paul says up his sleeve after an unbelievable day one of the NFL Draft. So subscribe and join us. The night got kicked off with Mr. Caleb Williams. We knew that was going to be the case as – the USC quarterback uh, has kind of been a bear for a couple of months now. We've kind of known where this was headed, but it's still just exciting to see it actually happen, right? You could see the enthusiasm that Caleb Williams had when he walked on that stage and hugged the commissioner, Roger Goodell, Boo Goodell in the chat, by the way. Um, I'm just excited about what this guy could be and what this guy could mean for this franchise. The numbers speak for themselves. The Talent speaks for themselves. You know, we could get into the crazy nuts and bolts of who this guy is as a player. We will do that a little bit. I think his football awareness in the pocket and feeling where the pressure is coming from is very, very unique. His ability to make any throw and always being ready to unload the football with his arm strength and his balance is really, really impressive. Of course, there's things he's got to work on. Of course, uh, there's things he's got to improve on. But Caleb Williams is an unbelievable talent. You plug him in, he's your QB1 from day one, and I just, I can't wait. I, I mean, I, I, I know it seems like we're diving too deep into this. People are like, ah, maybe pump the brakes. I'm not gonna. I really think this guy could change this franchise forever. The guy wants to win eight Super Bowls. On his screensaver, a, a line in there literally says, fuck everyone, go kill. If you think that's too much, well... Maybe that's what the Bears need. Maybe that is what they need because the nice guy mentality hasn't worked. This guy wants to be great. This guy has the passion. When he was 10 years old, he had a dream of being the number one pick and being a guy winning Super Bowls. Now he's the number one pick. Now he's got a chance to lead a franchise. I, for one, cannot wait. So what is my draft grade, you ask? Uh, how about an A+. Plus? This is a no-brainer pick. And sometimes the obvious pick is a high grade. I think teams just outthink themselves sometimes. And, you know, I, I know some of you guys, ah, trade down for the hall. Let's do this and that. He's the best player in the draft. You take him. He's the best player at the top position in the draft. The Bears need better quarterback play. Caleb Williams gives you a chance to provide that. The Bears have done a good job in terms of building around him to get him ready, which they also did later on at number nine, which we're going to talk about in a minute. Caleb Williams, A+. Plus. Welcome to Chicago. He's going to be wearing number 18, his high school number, uh, at Gonzaga High School Prep. Okay, today's show is sponsored by Game Time. Listen, Game Time is the best ticketing service app out there. If you want to go watch Caleb Williams and the Bears this fall, you can do so with the Game Time time app you can also go to plenty of events between now and then you got the cubbies at wrigley the white Sox. i get it the socks suck but you can get into uh, professional baseball games for dirt cheap that's a pretty good opportunity concerts always coming into town like the rolling stones in the month of june get your tickets now what's cool about game time and what they specialize in is last minute tickets and deals zone deals flash sales because they're trying to put butts in seats uh, to get as many people in these arenas and these stadiums and these concert venues. So go take advantage. Download the app today. It is game time. Get $20 off with promo code chat sports. There's a link in the comments and the description to get started today. Take advantage of game time. We greatly, greatly appreciate them for sponsoring today's show. So I mentioned Caleb Williams is an A+. Plus for all the reasons I said, the talent, the obviousness, the ability to finally have a top-tier franchise quarterback. I want to hear from you guys before we get to Roma Dunze. What is your grade for Caleb Williams' number one overall? I don't see how it's less than an A. 
I just don't. I think he's ready. I think he's got the right mindset. I think he's um, determined to be great, and he's got the talent to match that determination. So A, B, C, D, or F, drop a letter grade down in the comment section below when it comes to Caleb Williams. And then the night just got even better. Rome Adunze, the Washington wide receiver, I thought it was 50-50. My final mock, I had Caleb 1, Rome 9. I thought it was 50-50. I thought it could go either way if he would get to number 9. But I felt all along that if he was there, he should be the pick. And if he was there, he would be the pick. And that is the way it played out tonight. Again, don't overthink it. He's the number 5 overall player on our board. Number 3 receiver in most drafts. He would be the top or second best receiver. But Marvin Harrison Jr. and Malik Neighbors are pretty special as well. He's got good size. He's athletic. Contested catch machine. He was a punt returner at Washington. I don't think he'll be that long term for you. But I wouldn't be shocked if he uh, returned punts for the Bears as a rookie. They have had issues for years at punt returner. He can give you some dynamic ability uh, from that spot. And when I look at the guys I wanted at number nine, to get the third guy, I mean, that's pretty good. Marvin Harrison was gone. Malik Neighbors was gone. Joe Alt was gone. And oh, by the way, someone not even on screen, J.C. Latham was gone. So other guys that I had lower than Adunze went, and you still got him at number nine. This guy is fast. He's big, he's twitchy, and he's going to get to learn under two studs in DJ Moore and Keenan Allen. I mean, it is so fun to think about, and just the thought of Caleb and Rome growing together, like, I just, I get chills thinking about it. I really, really do. I mean, the report for yesterday, and Adunze saying it, yeah, I was working out with Caleb, with Keenan and DJ as well, and the fact that these guys are all teammates now, I mean, you tell me. Is there a better receiver core in the NFL or a better receiver trio? And by the way, I'm excited for Tyler Scott to be that number four kind of speed demon, take the top off, be a uh, kind of a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Swiss Army knife. Do some different things for you. I'm excited. DJ was awesome last year. Keenan's been awesome for over a decade. Roma Dunze is a stud. He's the full package. He's a true X receiver. If you're excited for Roma Dunze, spam Rome in the comments because you get Caleb Williams or Roma Dunze, my dream outcome, and it comes to fruition, I mean, unbelievable. Spam Rome in the comments down below if you are excited for the Bears' newest wide receiver, Rome Dunze. And I just want to kind of put this all to, into context. A-plus for me, by the way, for a Dunze. A-plus for both picks. If you say that's, oh, it's, it's lazy, whatever, biased, I mean... I think even fans of other teams would say this was a hell of a night for the Chicago Bears. And when you really contextualize Ryan Poles and what he's done in a couple of years, he rips the roster down to the studs in 2022. 23, he starts to build. The team improved the second half of the year significantly. He adds more of this. It would really start with the trade last year to get DJ Moore, uh, Carolina, all that stuff. You get some help from the Texans with that Hail Mary. I mean, that play – just changed multiple franchises forever. But might take a little luck, but you got to be smart in your decisions as well. And Ryan Poles has made a lot of good ones. I get the Claypool thing didn't work out, but he's made a lot of good decisions as well. And so now when you look at kind of this offseason profile for the Bears, they'll have money. Obviously, that they're going to need help, help on that defensive line. Maybe they add someone after the draft. Maybe they get someone at 75. We'll see. But now you get Caleb Williams and Roma Dunze. You check – QBN wide receiver box off. It's kind of like D-line. If you want to add a piece on your O-line, you could do that. But this team's ready to compete, man. I, I don't think they're a Super Bowl team this year, but this should be a playoff team. This team, I think, will win 10-plus games. The North is going to be tough, but the schedule's manageable. Otherwise, I'm excited. I hope you guys are as well. What an unbelievable night. And I think there's a real chance a couple years from now we look back, this was a franchise-altering night for the Chicago Bears. Appreciate you guys for joining us late here on Thursday night. Maybe you're watching this Thursday morning. Shout out to all of you. Hit the subscribe button. A couple things to look forward to. Number one, we already told you, rounds two and three. We're going to be live Friday night, probably 5, 5.30 Central Time. Uh, turn the notifications on so you know. Also, we'll put out a day two mock draft and top day two draft targets video on Friday, probably late morning, so be on the lookout for that as well. Hit the subscribe button. Share the link with a friend. It's YouTube.com slash Bears now. 
Give me a bear down in the comments. We'll see you guys tomorrow.